on today's Pro Presenter Show, Transparency, Translucency, and Opacity in Pro Presenter. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about ProPresenter and related stuff, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. When you're layering graphics on top of other things, you've got to know what needs to be opaque, what needs to be transparent, what needs to be translucent. So how do you do that in ProPresenter? It's actually not that hard when you know how. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. So you'll see that here I have some pretty cool text over here and uh, that's from a different lesson. One on putting PNGs into ProPresenter. But what I wanted you to look at is we've got this where we can see all the way through this PNG. And then we've got this little box underneath. So let me hop into the editor. Edit slide. And I'll show you what I've got because I've actually got multiple layers here. So we've got the image element. That's this guy. That's a PNG with transparency. We've got this guy, which, wrong one, it's actually this one I wanted to grab, let me grab it up here maybe, Here, I'll just put it on top temporarily so I can grab it and move it. So that is there, and if I click Show, you'll see that it's over here, and we can see through it. So <clears throat> if I go right over here, you'll notice that I have Fill Color selected, and when I click on that, I've got it set to black, but I've got the opacity set to... 25%. That's the first word that I want you to know is opacity. How solid something is. I think what I would have called this is translucency. So opacity, something that's totally opaque. It's You can't see through it. That would be 100%. Here, let me show you what that looks like. See, totally opaque. Can't see through it at all. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we have transparent. Again, I show that, and it disappears completely. That's transparent. In the middle, anywhere from, in this case, 1% all the way to 99%, we have translucency. It's most apparent when it's somewhere in the middle as opposed to on either end. But if I click show here, you'll see that even though this is on top here, we can still see through it. So think of this like a stained glass window. Even though the it is a window, it's not a wall. A wall would be opaque. A regular glass window would be transparent, assuming it's cleaned and everything. And in the middle is a stained glass window, which blocks some but not all of the light. So I could just as easily make that red, make it somewhat translucent, show that. And like a stained glass window, I can see through it but not all the colors, just red, and colors influenced by the red. 
before I finish this tutorial, let me take a second to remind you that this tutorial and many others on my channel and some that are private are part of my ProPresenter and other Church Tech courses, which are all included in Church Tech U. If you'd like to get access to all of them for only a dollar for the first month and join a private community of other church techies, just go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial. I'm always adding more content and answering new questions, so head over and start your first month today. At only a dollar, the only thing you have to lose is all the wasted time you're spending looking for answers and training your team on what you eventually learn. Let me give you that time back. Join CTU today. Now back to the tutorial. That's something that you can use in ProPresenter, but that's not the only use of it. So if I go back over here, here, let's... Um, yeah, let's leave the background here. This is a lower third that I made, and you'll notice that it is totally transparent. I've got the auto advance on here. Let me right click and remove that. That's the go to next timer. Actually, just for fun, let me make that longer so that we're not messing with that. That has nothing to do with today's subject. So, right now, totally transparent against this background. Then everything is transparent except the text. That's the normal way you'd expect it to be in ProPresenter. But if you wanted to send the transparent background... Right now that's black. If we wanted to send that with this background being transparent into a video switcher, there's a couple of ways to do it. If I wanted translucency, like this red is, then I need to do that with an alpha channel. If I want pure transparency like this, I can do that with chroma key or luma key. So that's important to know if you're using a video switcher or if you're sending the output of ProPresenter for live streaming purposes to either another piece of software or if you're using, if you're sending it to another computer that has encoder software on it. So remember opaque can't see through it. Right now, if I just send this as is, it's opaque. Trans translucency is like this red. We can see through it partially. Transparency is like everything other than that, noticing that we can see completely through it. So that's transparency. And those are the three things that you need to think about when you're creating graphics for ProPresenter, and when you're sending them out of ProPresenter into either a video switcher or encoding software so that you can get the effect that you want based on the tools that you have available to you. Stop and think about how you can use it. Maybe you'll make a lower third to identify your pastor. Maybe you'll make a bug of your church logo. Maybe you'll create graphics that blend with the live video and add a level of professionalism you haven't had before. The possibilities are limitless. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge and want me to help train the, your team of people at your church or organization, just go to tdm.fyi slash ctutorial and join for the first month for just a dollar.
Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity. Yeah.